as with the other parts, one of the first things we're going to do is create the stock to make this part out of. I'll create my sketch in the same XY plane that we've been using. And I'm going to create my two point rectangle up in the same positive Y, positive X. I have nine inches wide. It's the height that's the problem. If you look at this part, I really don't have anything that tells me the overall height. I do have one dimension here that tells me that I have three and a half inches, but the three and a half inches is not the total height of the part. Three and a half inches only goes from the top of this section to the top of this bottom plate. I then have an additional half an inch for the bottom of the plate. So if I create a general, general dimension, I have the three and a half inches plus a half an inch to get a four inch overall height. I can now finish sketch. I can now extrude the profile in the negative direction, the overall width of five inches. It should give us our entire part. Next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut out the middle section and both wings. I'll create a new sketch, either on the front or on the top. Either will do. I'm gonna choose the front view. To start the shape off, I'm gonna use the two-point rectangle to create three rectangles, one on the side, one in the middle, and one on the opposite side. I'll use the collinear tool to line up all three rectangles. I'm also going to use the equal tool on the outside two rectangles. Now that I've got developed, I know that I have a half inch floor. Half an inch. Well, I also know that I have a half inch width for this first part. an inch, and I know that I have four inches in between the two towers. The last thing I need to know is that I have two inches before the first tower starts. That should completely constrain our part for us. Go ahead and finish sketch, extrude, all three closed profiles, as a cut, all. We're now going to go ahead and cut the two slots. To create the slot, I'm going to use the slot tool. I'll place one point and vertically to that second point. I know right now that I have a width of the slot of 0.375 as a radius. So I want a diameter, 0.375 times two. I also know that the slot starts an inch and a half end and ends two inches from there. An inch and a half in, and two inches from there. The slot is also one inch from the side. That should completely constrain one. I could also create the other one while I'm here. But this is a good opportunity for us to use the mirror tool. I'll extrude cut one shape. And I'm gonna use the mid plane between two planes. I'll select the front face. I'll rotate the part and select the next plane. To use the mirror tool, I now have a work plane situated in the middle. So I can select mirror, I can choose the slot as my feature, I can select the mirror plane as the plane that I made, and it should place a slot for me on the opposite side. I can now go ahead and place a new sketch on the outside of the right side. I can select the point tool. I know that I am two inches down and two and a half over. Two inches down, two and a half over. I can use the hole tool. I know that I have a diameter of one and a half through all, and it should send the hole all the way through both sides. Last thing I need to do is the chamfer, and the note tells me that chamfers are all one inch by one inch or 45 degrees. Chamfer, one inch, and I can select one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, and the 8th edge. I now can right click on the work plane and turn off its visibility and it should complete our part for us.